Hello, I'm Aya. <laughs> Hello, Aya. Hi. Aya. <laughs> this is Yostin. Hello, Yostin. Hmm? I'm like... I'm like... A <laughs> yes. I'd like to tell you a story. Ooh. This story is about a dwarf who had three sons. His oldest son was named Otto. And just like his name, he had, uh, uh, he had the ability to transform into an otter. And he liked to spend most of his days a, as an otter. And he would uh, go into the river, and he would uh, fish and eat lots of fish, and then bring home fish for his family. Another son was named Fafnir, and he was big and strong and very mighty. And their third son was named Regen, and he was a clever, clever smith, and he knew many languages. One day, three strangers came upon uh, the family, uh, travelers, and they came in and they sat down and they show, uh, and the dwarf showed them hospitality, and uh, they got to talking. Oh, you know, where did you come from? Blah blah blah, and. The three strangers mentioned that they had been by the river and they had managed, uh, um, and the one had managed to uh, throw a stone and not only kill an otter, but he got his fish as well. And here it was, this beautiful otter skin had, uh, that had been, they had turned into a pouch. And the dwarf and Fafnir and Regan grew silent. And the father grabbed one of the uh, one of the strangers, and Fafnir grabbed two of the strangers. And Regan went off, and he grabbed a, a rope that he had made that could bind any creature alive. And they bound three strangers, and they said, "You have killed my son, and and for this you must pay." And the stranger says, "Wait, wait, 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 wait." We, we can pay, we can pay. In fact, um, uh, our, our one friend here, Loki, <laughs> he can go and, and, and get some, some riches for you. It's like, all right, but you two stay. So they released Loki, and he took the form of a bird, and he flew, and he went to a waterfall. And there in the waterfall was a dwarf that was in the shape of a fish. For you see, dwarves didn't like to be dwarves, apparently. <laughs> and, and he caught this, uh, this dwarf, Andvari, with a net. And with, with this net, and, uh, he, uh, and, he, and he said that he would only release the dwarf, Andvari, if he would hand over his famous treasure. Andvari reluctantly agreed and, uh, and uh, gave Loki his, uh, all his treasure save one, a ring that he, uh, that he hid behind his back. But Loki, being the clever god he was, uh, uh, knew that he was hiding it and he, was, he managed to snatch it behind his back. And Anvari cursed this ring and said whoever possessed it would die a horrible, horrible death. Loki took back all of the treasure and he piled it up so that it covered all of the otter skin, save a whisker. And, uh, and the, uh, the dwarf father said, hey, it's not completely covered. And so Loki gave over the magic ring, which was cursed, and, and, the, and the dwarf released the strangers and they very quickly went away. And, and the uh, three remaining dwarves looked over the treasure and saw how it gleamed and saw how it glistened. And Fafnir said, hey, Dad, you think I you know, could have like, you know, some of the treasure maybe, possibly? <laughs> and his father said, uh, no, I think you're fine. Maybe, 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 uh, maybe later. 
and Falconer asks again, hey, hey, Dad, I, I, I really, really need some of this gold. And his father says, no, no, really, really, you don't. <laughs> And an argument uh, broke out, and Fafnir, in his fury, killed his father and took the gold and left his brother fam uh, without family and without gold. And Fafnir, in his greed, spread over the land and, and, took, much, uh, uh, and took treasures, and he started to poison the land, and he slowly, slowly turned into a dragon. And, and, his, and his gold he hoarded in his cave. And as for what happened to Reagan, well, I'll tell that story a little later. <laughs> <laughs>